hitting the ball with the bat. Hilarious, right? So now cricket is a world renowned sport that we usually used to hit the ball with the bat. So today, I brought a ball. This is a tennis ball that we usually used to play tennis with, but in Sri Lanka, we usually used to play cricket with this as well. So what we usually do in Sri Lanka is we change things, right? So we took the tennis ball and we started playing ten cricket with it. We took the tennis racket. Guess what happened? We put some batteries to it and we started killing some mosquitoes. <laughs> Good evening, Toastmaster and my fellow guests. Cricket is something we all know. So what usually happens in this sport is there's this ball. He either comes running or sometimes he comes bouncing. And then it was the ball. And then we have these speed players. They sometimes stay like this. Sometimes they're like this. But sometimes they're like this. <laughs> and we have the other person. He's called the bat smoker. Now he takes the bat, he bangs the bat on the floor until the ball comes running and delivers the ball. And then, once delivered, the batsman hits the ball. The ball goes, it, and once the ball is gone, it either goes to the fence. Sometimes it stops somewhere in the middle of the field. Sometimes it goes nowhere. Sometimes it clearly is the record. <laughs> so, anyways, DWS, did any one of you think of the lesson we all can learn from this small incident? Welcome to the ICC World Cup Finals of some year in some venue between two countries. But the most important thing here is that you are a member of that team on strike. Your team has a target of 164 runs in 20 overs. Good news, the team has already scored 160. Bad news, the team has already given away 19 overs and four. Two balls left, four runs to the World Cup. You are next to bat, you are in the dressing room with your teammates, and you are staring at the pitch. The bowler comes running, delivers the ball. You hear a nice sound of the bat, and then the ball goes in the air, searching for that fence. You hear a nice sound from the ground. But you see your teammate coming back to the dressing room. No, the match isn't over. He has been caught in the deep. Trust me, Gavlius, this is the moment where your heart pumps louder than ever. Get into the field. You go towards the pitch. While going towards the pitch, you hear the whole crowd. Instead of cheering the team, they start to cheer you. Because they know that you are the only expectation. One ball left, four runs to go. When this work